This next class is a suspension training class. I want you guys to grab your suspension trainers and train along to the program. Working some squats for this exercise. Now, two different variations. So you can see I'm doing it with my feet at shoulder width, but Sam's doing it with her knees squeezing together. Now, if you want to challenge yourself, I suggest you do it with your feet and knees squeezing together so that you're working your adductors and you're also squeezing your glutes on the way up as well. Make sure your arms are remaining soft, straight, and there's no rowing motion. Let's get you to try this exercise for yourselves. Working a front leg lunge for this exercise, guys. So you can see two different variations. You can see Sabina's got her back foot completely off the floor, which is harder to stabilize. So this is the more challenging way of doing the exercise. Sam is allowing her back toe to touch the floor. And that's a little bit easier, and it's a better variation if you're injured or if you're new to suspension training. Your arms should remain soft, straight, and there should be no rowing motion at all. Let's get you to try this exercise. Courtesy lunges for this exercise, guys. Two different variations. So you can see Sabina has her back foot completely off the floor, which is a harder way of doing this exercise because it's harder to stabilize. Sam's allowing her foot to touch the floor and find the marker. Now, if you're new to suspension training, you're welcome to do it the way Sam's doing it. But if you're intermediate or advanced, then make sure you do it the way Sabina's doing it and keep your back foot off the ground. Now you can see both girls are holding a soft straight arm and there's no rowing motion in their arms. Make sure you guys do the same. Your turn.
working some front leg raises or front kicks for this exercise. So you can see two different variations. Sabina is just kicking with her toes pointy and legs are nice and straight. You can see I'm adding a pulse at the top of it. So what that does is that just amplifies the exercise. Make sure your arms remain soft straight with no rowing motion. Try and keep your body as still as you can keep it. Your turn. Alright guys, working some side leg raises for this next exercise. Now you can see two different variations. Sabina's working the basic variation, so just pushing straight up, straight knee and foot horizontal. You can see I'm adding a pulse at the top, so if you want to challenge yourself, add that pulse at the top. Uh, you can see the hand grip, it's a rifle grip, so um, holding on to the stirrup and also holding on to your cable as well. Let's get you guys to try this one. All right guys, working some pistol squats for this one. So you just want to drop down into the invisible chair pose with 90 degree knees. You want to make sure your opposite leg is remaining nice and straight and it's in front of you during the exercise. You can see both the girls have got their arms soft straight and there's no rowing motion. Let's get you guys to try this one.
some advanced calves raises for this one, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off in an abs rollout position, and we're going to hit our calves raise from there. Try to keep a straight line from your ankle all the way to your hand. So we want to make sure we're not arching or dipping. The range of calves raise motion should be as much as possible. So get as far up on your toes as you can and drop all the way back down. Let's get you guys to try this one. Bulgarian lunges for this exercise, guys. Now, you want to make sure your shin bone is remaining vertical throughout this exercise. Um, lunge until your knee is one inch off the ground and stop before it touches the ground and lift straight back up. You can use your arms to assist you with stabilization. Let's get you guys to try this exercise. working some side squats for this exercise. So you can see your feet on the ground, your toes must be pointing forward. Your foot in the stirrup has to remain horizontal because if it doesn't and your toes start to point out, then your hip's out of position, so you're gonna need to adjust that. Hands in front of you will assist with stabilization. Let's get you guys to try this one.
working some bicycle kicks for this exercise, guys. So you can see Sabina's lifted her hip off the ground throughout this exercise. So you want to make sure you're doing the same thing. Now, you can see the arch of her foot is inside the stirrups for this one. So I want you guys to try it that way. Arms up so there's no additional support of the upper body. Let's get you to try this one. working some leg curls for this exercise. So you want to try and keep your knees and ankles as close together as you can. You want to lift your hip so that they're off the floor for this exercise. Use the arch of your foot in the stirrups rather than using your heels because this is going to give you a different variation, a little bit more focus on the hamstrings as well. Your arms should be up so that you've got no additional upper body support. Let's get you to try this one. Okay guys, working a hips raise for this exercise. Now there's two different variations of this. So the harder variation is to make sure your shoulders and your upper body is remaining completely off the ground. If you want a little bit of assistance, you can finish in a position where your shoulders are just touching the ground and that's going to give you a little bit of support. You want to elevate all the way up until you've got a straight line from your knees to your shoulders so you can see I'm doing that. Let's get you guys to try this one for yourselves.
All right, guys, I've got a challenge for you. We're going to work a creepy crawler for this exercise. So basically, this involves taking three steps forward and three steps back and just making sure that your body is remaining off the floor. Your arms are remaining soft straight, so we want to make sure we're not rowing. And you're going to really feel this in, in your glutes and in your quadriceps as well. Let's get you to try this one for yourselves. This next exercise is a ball of foot V squat. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up V position relatively wide and just suspend myself. I'm going to get onto the ball of the foot. I'm going to work my squats from here. Okay. So as I pull up, I'm going to come up into a straight line. I want that straight line. I want my back nice and tense. Okay. You can see the arms aren't doing any work. So I'm not rowing with it. I'm keeping those arms uh, soft straight the whole time. So drop down. Pick it up and make sure you stay on the ball of your foot the whole time. Your turn. We're going to work some squats for this one, guys, but we're going to do it a little bit different, okay? I want to go feet and knees to together. I'm going to squeeze my feet and knees so I'm making my adductors work. And as I drop down, I'm getting more work out of my glutes as well, okay? So we're going to go from here, straight down, and pick it back up. So we just want to go a little bit past the invisible chair, which is roughly there. And then we want to come back up with a tight back, okay? Arms aren't doing any work. I'm not rowing with my arms. Your turn.
All right, guys, we're going to work some V calves raises for this one, okay? Now, don't over-suspend yourself. So I don't want to be out here. I want to be there where I'm just marginally suspended. Arms are soft, straight, and I've got my feet in that V position. I'm going to go up into a calves raise. Now, it doesn't look like a whole lot of lift, but it's actually an excellent way of doing your calves raises. You get really good tension underneath your calves and in your soleus as well, okay? So we're going to just go from there, touch, and lift, just like that. Now, I've got to make sure I don't allow my bum to drop out as I come back down. I want to maintain that line, okay? You want to keep your glutes and your lower back active as well. Let's get you guys to try this one. We're going to work some pigeon toe calves raises for this one, guys. So the way this one's going to work is I'm going to go toes together and heels out. So I'm doing a V in a reverse. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just suspend myself. I'm going to get that straight line going from my shoulder to the anchor point and another straight line from my shoulder all the way down to my ankle. And from here, we're just going to lift into a calves raise in this unusual pigeon toe position. So we're going to really try and focus on the outside of the calves. Okay, lifting right up and picking it back, dropping it back down. Now, there's not a whole lot of movement in this one because of the angle, but it is very effective. Let's get you guys to try it. guys we're gonna work some leg curls but we're gonna do it one leg at a time okay so they're alternate leg curls now to make sure I get no assistance from my hands I'm gonna keep them up now if you decide at some point that you want some assistance with your hands you can press it against the floor to help you okay we're gonna do it from up here so I'm gonna lift right up from here it's a leg curl but on one leg only and then straighten back out other side and straight back out let's go one more just like that. So when you finish, you still hold up your bridge, okay? You still hold up that hips raise. Your turn.
Okay, guys, we're going to do some skater squats, but we're going to do it a little bit differently. So the way we're going to do this, I'm going to set up nice and wide, okay, right there. And what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to go into my skater squat, and then I'm going to roll right out like that. I'm going to make sure I'm getting a nice adductor stretch at the end, just like that. So it's a rolling skater squat. Your turn. Okay, let's get into it. So what you want to make sure you do with these skater squats is once you get to the end of it, your knees got to be completely straight. Okay, so this knee's straight, that knee's pointing right out. So you want to make sure you're getting that nice adductor and hamstring stretch on this one. Now, you guys will notice that Adriana's maintaining her height. She's staying nice and low. So we don't want to bob up and down. We want to stay low. So we're making the quadriceps do some work as well. Let's keep working through these ones. We've got roughly 15 seconds left. Now, it doesn't matter what pace you go at. So if you're a little bit slower than this, it's okay. Um, keep a steady pace and you've got to maintain it throughout the whole set. Give me two more reps. Last one. And you're done. Good job. Okay, guys, here's a tough one. We're going to work some front leg circles. We're going to go 45 seconds on one side and then 45 seconds on the other. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So from here, I'm going to suspend myself. Nice, natural, uh, supported position. I'm going to lift one leg up, okay? So you can see I'm trying to lift right up with this. I'm going to start to work some circles. Toes are pointing out, just like that. We're going to work one side for 45 seconds. Then we're going to switch legs. I'm going to work the other side as well. Your turn. Okay, you guys, I'm going to get in on the action with you guys. Let's go. So nice, steady, controlled breathing. And just keep working those circles. Now, you really got to just focus and try and keep that circle in the same spot the whole time. Uh, it's going to get harder and harder, but I'm sure you're going to be just fine. Work your way through it. We're about halfway on this side. So you're going to really feel this in the hips. Your TFL is going to get a really good workout. And let's keep working. So same steady pace and same steady height if you can. So one more second and we're going to change that up. Let's go to the other side, the fresh side now. Go. So you can see I'm circling out and I'm just trying to keep the same size circle. Now, after a little while, these circles are going to start to get a little ugly, but just try and control them as much as you can. And let's work right through. We've got about 20 seconds left. <laughs> 10 seconds. Keep fighting with me. Two more. Last one. And you're done. Okay, guys, we're going to work some ball of foot squats for this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get onto the ball of my foot. I'm going to start off in my abs rollout position right here. I'm going to drop down into a squat. I'm going to push at 45 degrees and go back up to my um, abs rollout position. Just like that. Your turn. Okay, you guys, let's get into it. Go. So you guys can see a nice 45 degree line. That's exactly what uh, Marilyn's hitting. And then you can see right at the top, she's finishing with a straight line from her ankle all the way to her hand. That's the perfect ab rollout. That's how you want to do it. So drop right down and pick it right up. Now you can also see, um, again, she looks like she's wearing a set of stilettos. Basically what's happening here is she's staying right onto the ball of the foot and she's not allowing the heels to come down at all. You want to do it the same way. 
good. Plenty of tension right at the top, so the abs completely engage once she hits that top um, line. Okay, give me three more reps, Marilyn. That's one, two, take your time. Excellent, time. Okay guys, we're working some lunges. Now the way we're going to do it is we're going to start off in an abs rollout right here. And I'm going to step forward into my lunge and come back into my abs rollout. Tighten everything up right there and go again. So we're going to work one leg for 45 seconds and then we're going to switch it straight away. No break in between and work the other side as well. Your turn. Okay, let's get into those lunges, guys. Go. So a couple of important notes with this exercise. You can see as Adriana's hitting these lunges, she's dropping, there's a nice vertical line right there. So from the ankle to the knee, you want a nice vertical line. Um, back knee's almost touching the floor, so we're only about an inch off. And once we're pulling right up, we're pulling up into a straight line. So we're making sure we're in that ab rollout position and we're fully engaging the abs. Now we're gonna keep going. We're gonna work through for 45. And then we're going to switch over straight away, no break, and we're going to hit the other side as well. Let's keep going. Three more on this side. Two more. One last one. Now feet together, we're going to change legs. Go. Good, so we want to make sure we're maintaining the exact same form as we did with the first lot. Opposite leg, so the pressure's on the other side, but we're doing exactly the same thing. Let's keep them going. Now, you want to make sure as you start to tire, you don't start to arch up your back on that ab rollout, okay? Um, you tend to try to save your abs by pulling in like that, and that's a lot of pressure on your lumbar spine, so we want to make sure we're not doing that. We're going to maintain that, keep a hard core, and keep working those legs. We're doing fine. Let's go. Four more reps. That's one, two, three, one last one, and time. Okay guys, we're going to work some donkey kicks and we're going to add some knee raises into this one as well. Um, one leg at a time, I want you guys to watch me. So I'm going to start off as though I'm going into an ab rollout. I'm going to go knee strike. I'm going to um, lift it straight up into a donkey kick right here, okay, and straight back into that knee strike. Okay, so the foot doesn't touch the ground once I get started. Your turn. Okay guys, let's get into those. Go. So you guys can see a beautiful knee strike all the way to the chest. And then the foot doesn't drop after that. It just comes straight up into that donkey kick. Perfect. Good. So there's an abdominal contraction and then there's a butt lift as well. We're going to hit both those moves um, in, in the one set. Let's keep going. Good. We've got 15 seconds left on this side. So as long as you're keeping your foot nice and tight and you're keeping your ab rollout position, you can't really go wrong with this exercise. Um, have a bit of an experiment for yourself, see how you go with it, um, but I'm sure you'll get it right. One last one on this side. Good, change legs, let's keep them going, go. You're going to start to feel this really tighten up in the glutes. Um, your abs are contracted the whole time, but it's, uh, it's more so when you're throwing that knee right there. So um, there's gonna be some pressure on the abs, a lot of pressure on the butt. It's a fantastic aesthetic exercise. So let's keep it going. Take your time with it. Good, full range of moment. Nice, steady motion. We've got three reps left.
One last one. Good job. Time. Okay, guys, we're going to work a lollipop for this one. It's harder than it sounds. What we're going to do is we're going to go into a side leg raise. We're going to draw a circle. And then we're going to come straight back down. I'm going to show you. So side leg raise, draw a circle, and straight back down. We're going to do it once with the left leg, and then um, the next step with the right leg. Let's get you guys to try it. All right, you guys, let's get into it. Go. Good. So work with your own limits on this one, guys. If you've got more range and you can kick higher, brilliant, do it. And, you know, if you don't have that much range in your movement and you've got to keep it relatively low, that's okay. That's okay. You can see um, Marilyn's is not particularly high, but it's controlled and it's precise movement. So you guys want to make sure you're doing the same thing. Okay, let's pick him up. Good. Drop it down. Now we're going to make sure we're going to keep that knee nice and straight throughout the whole movement. Okay, so you've got a little bit of bend in your support leg, you've got no bend in your kicking leg. Let's keep working. Good, they're getting harder and harder, aren't they, Marilyn? Let's keep them going. We've got two more reps on this side. And turn around, we're going to work the other side as well. Let's go. Good. One side's going to feel a little bit more natural than the other side. Doesn't matter. Um, important thing is make sure your foot's staying nice and flat. We want to keep the foot nice and horizontal on this one. So you don't want your toes pointing up because that means your hips are out of place. Let's keep working. Now, the other thing you want to be conscious of, you can see that Marilyn is maintaining a straight line from her ankle all the way to her shoulder on this side. So you don't want to start to swing. You want to try and maintain that. We're doing a good job with this one, Marilyn. Keep going. I know it's getting tough now. Give me three more reps. Two more. One last one and we're home. Let's go. Time. All right, for this section, let's connect our suspension cables to a high anchor point. Now, we need to make sure that your handles are at hip height for the next bunch of exercises. All right, some vertical drop leg curls for this one, guys. So you want to start in a lying position with your toes up whilst holding onto some vertical cables, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to curl the hamstrings 90 degrees by pulling your body in towards your ankles. Let's get you guys to try this one. Leaping pistol squats for this exercise, guys. So you want to start your leaps with a vertical cable drop. So it's going to be quite difficult. And then what you want to try and do is you want to push with your arms to assist you to get your body all the way up. We're going to do it with one leg for one set, and then we're going to change it up and hit it with the other leg. Your turn.
All right, guys, change legs and let's try the other side now. Yeah. 